We're here with Fox Ears Unbreakable Drone. So Houston crew was like, Challenge accepted. We've taken it here to the night spot to see just how unbreakable this thing actually is. <laughs> but if you think about it, it makes sense that a prop manufacturer could have the plastic manufacturing experience to make a stronger and better duct than anyone else out there as they pretty much make plastic molds of varying thickness, rigidities, flexibilities every single day in and out. And I can tell you that though these ducts look small and thin, they're incredibly strong. We are going to send it as hard as possible. And at the end of the night, we're going to give Joe Mama one rip on it, full send into the obstacle of his choice and see if it withstands it. Ooh. Oh, that was a pretty good hit. All right, let's see if it's see if it's dead. Well, it still goes. Pretty good. Let's see what that did. Yeah, let's see. Still hover. Oh yeah, it's recording, so yeah. Shut it's Today we're talking about the Fox here, Fox Whoop. This one comes available that you can buy direct with HD Zero and Express LRS on board. The two open source projects that are the darling of FPV are now here in one beautiful combination. And Fox here adds this to its new frame system, the Fox Whoop, that is also known as the Unbreakable Frame. Challenge accepted. We took this sucker on a number of crashes to test if that was actually true or is it just marketing mumbo jumbo. My goodness, this thing is tough indeed. The ducks are stronger than any other ducks I've seen on any Cinewoop. You know I've had a number on this channel. And because they're also thin, they're also lighter, and they're really more of guards versus ducks, so you get much less of that dreaded prop wash, and it actually flies pretty well for something with guards on there, especially since they ship it with this pusher configuration. If you look at the top plate, it's much thicker than you might imagine for a two and a half inch, and that's because they take that unbreakable drone moniker very serious in the beginning i was a little bit critical of hd zero because the binding fly manufacturers had not accepted it quite yet but now they're on board i have a multitude of hd zero binding flies in my queue right now so you're going to be seeing more and more of those come out very soon and of course you can also build your own like this hd zero tiny trainer that i competed with at international open and it actually got me a fourth place finish in the tiny trainer race Mwah. if you don't feel like buying one though you can buy one ready to fly from get fpv there'll be a link for that in the description but if you want a cinema that is able to carry a dj action 2 a gopro session any type of light camera this is the ticket now it actually can carry a full-size gopro 2 if you want something to be able to go in really tight spots but it's going to struggle a little bit you know we've been printing our own ducks for our squirts our slam squirts our and all those other little whoop things but those either end up too squishy that allow you to impact the prop or too hard that end up being brittle and shatter um, this solves both of those issues in a lighter package. You can also buy the frame and build up your own. I do like though that the Bind and Fly comes with top level components. Now, could you break it if you continue to crash it or crash into water? Yeah, nothing is unbreakable, but this is about the closest that I've ever seen. And normally I would say, you know what, you can't call something unbreakable unless it's truly unbreakable. But if you're actually using it within the regular scope of a Cinewoop, it pretty much kind of is. Now, of course, some people in the, in Houston were like, let's run over it with an F-350 or something like that. Okay, it's probably not going to stand up to that. Let's look at the damage. The battery really a little anything. bit moved, but yeah. that's it. A couple of scratches. Yeah, barely did nothing. Yeah. That's pretty tough. It is Because tough. sometimes the thin ducts like this, they're light, but they shatter. Yeah. But this is not shattering at all. No, that was impressive, especially like the last crash. It was not very intentional. So what do you think? Pretty good durability? Yeah, so so far. Approved. I'm impressed. But yeah, the real test good. is going to be Joe Mama. He's going to use his uh, his expert freestyle skills. Yeah. Full send. Get to dive the building into concrete. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know about that. All right, now Joe Mama's going to try and see if he can destroy this thing. 
Alright, well we got a test going on here. The unbreakable quad. Alright, no mama is flying it down. Let's see what happens. Oh! Oh, the battery's hanging out. Oh yeah, still looks pretty good. Well, the unbreakable drone after all of that carnage, and you can see these ducks are still in like almost new condition. Now I did put this little lens protector on there, but after all those deliberate crashes into light poles, it actually did give it a little mark on the inside of the lens but it's away from the actual camera element so you can't even see that so still going strong uh we did manage to break a motor we noticed after that hard hit joe Bommel turtle mode it a couple of times and it wouldn't spin over and uh i noticed that there was a tiny nick on the winding of this motor i actually had another one so i swapped it on and it's good to go i was worried that maybe we burned the esc just doing a few crashes and turtle modes but no that's because boxer included the super premium hundred dollar reaper that is good enough for a five inch a lot of times on these small sin whoops they'll include something that's a lot cheaper i just can't believe that there's barely a scratch on this thing you can see a couple of little nicks along the guards but man this thing is ultra tough now if you're doing normal cinewoop flying you probably won't ever need to change these props but if you're doing crashing bashing sending it to tight spaces you might get a little few things sticking into the ducts and chewing them so a new prop has come out by dow cyclone the t2530 comes in different colors right here uh, i'm gonna go ahead and use the blue ones it's a little bit easier to see if you crash in the grass this is using fox new 1404 3850 kv motor uh, and you would think that's a little bit small for a cinewoop but because this thing is so light it actually carries it very well and manages to keep everything in a very manageable weight if you can see this whole thing only weighs 137 grams that's right 137 grams for a uh, my goodness if you remember the protect 25 that actually used similarly sized motors but that thing was way heavier than this so you're going to get all of the extra flight performance by having the same amount of power in a lighter and a neater package uh, hq did make this giant duck uh, for the terraplane but the issue is that at this size and weight it tends to shatter in a crash or even just landing hard hc0 whoop board in there the one that goes from 25 and 200 milliwatts you have the foxier digisite v3 camera up at the front you have an express lrs ep1 receiver with the tiny little t 2.4 antenna right there a foxier lollipop micro that extends a little bit away from the craft to give you a nice bit of reception the battery that i'm using is either a 650 or an 850 the 850 seems to work a little bit better if you want a little bit longer of a flight time but if you're only going to have a quick two to three minute flight you could probably do the 650 the 850 will give you more like a five six seven minute depending on how aggressively you're flying you can run whatever camera mount you want because it has this at the front and if you're running like one of those smaller insta 360 type cameras it has this mount as well um, i really think it's perfect for the weight of something like a session or run cam 5 that is sort of a lighter weight camera or that new dji action 2 would be perfect for this you could carry a full-size gopro but it's going to get a little bit more wobbly if you choose to carry that much weight but it definitely can do it so if you want to be able to do like freestyle maneuvers you're not going to do that with a full-size gopro um, you want it something lighter like this but if you just want something very small that you can navigate very well uh, in a tight space now mind you it is going to be loud but because the weight is reduced so much in this package it's going to be a lot less loud as something like that protect 25 which was surprisingly able to carry the hero 9 this has about the same power with just a bit less weight but this is really a game changer because you can get this in analog you can get this in dji and you can get this in hd0 hd0 is really becoming more accepted by bound and fly manufacturers unbreakable it's pretty close. 
even the Houston crew, which manages to break just about everything. All we could do was break a motor, and this motor was only about $14.90 uh, to get back in the air. You know, and I've seen pictures of people standing on this. That's how tough it is. But they're not probably people that eat Texas barbecue, so I'm not sure if I'm going to perform that test. But it feels good that I could. At the end of the night, we're gonna give Joe Mama one rip on it, full send into the obstacle of his choice. Joe Mama's gonna send it. There we go. Oh shit, oh, Omar. Omar's in the way. All right, all right, he's, you're good. You're good. Let's try to get closer. Oh! 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 That was it. Damn. Holy crap. <laughs> Damn, that was crazy. If it survives one more, it's unbreakable. <laughs> I think the pole might be tougher than the wall. <laughs> All right, so let's check it. Not a scratch. Well, there's some scratches. Well, there's some scratches. <laughs> That's about it. But the, the ducks are the intact. Tones. Ducks are not broken. Let's see if it still beats up. Full tones, we're gonna try to arm it. Oh yeah, yeah, there it goes. It arms, it's still good. Officially unbreakable, guys. Dude, <laughs> kid, I don't know. <laughs> that was like right on the corner of the curve. Dunk. I thought that pretty good. Man, look at that. Okay, yeah, cut a motor wire, but that's fixable. Oh. Ducks are still in and the place. Carbon Carbon's still in place. That thing's broken. I will have to Better replace a prop, and that's it. That is freaking crazy. Still got tones. Yep. Unbreakable, as promised. Full send by Joe Mama. <laughs> <laughs>